You never really forget, like the day I passed my driving test, probably the most significant, because then you can go anywhere, can't you? Get the motor running. <laughs> and it won't surprise anyone to learn that I received a minor on my driving test for excessive caution. <laughs> That's right, ladies. <laughs> really annoyed me. You know you're a fanny when on your driving test, the instructor's saying, so when I tap the dashboard, I want you to slow down, but for the rest of the time, can you friggin' strap on a pair? <laughs> just put your foot down. I think it's, uh, it's a big, big time for, you know, teenagers passing their test. I just think it's a very strange, strange thing that uh, we pick that time in life to give kids the opportunity to drive. You know, it's the most sort of hormonally volatile you can be. So are you, are you emotionally insecure and randomly aggressive? Here, have a machine that can kill yourself and others, you know? Like, <laughs> when, when can you apply for your provisional licence? Uh, <laughs> I do drive a car, mate. I drive a Polo 1.2. It's blue. Yeah. Yeah. Got Take that. that. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I drive a uh, Ford Fiesta. It's Spanish for party. <laughs> Completely left out. <laughs> Do you drive? I've, I've never passed my driving test. Oh. I took it once and failed it so appallingly badly, I said, I'm never ever going to drive again and haven't. I respect you for that. I think if you fail your test three times, you should be banned for at least ten years. Uh. <laughs> People think they have a right to drive and they're like, well, I'll get there in the end. Well, you're clearly shit at this. <laughs> you have to be told to stop now. Like, I failed six times, but then I passed on the seventh. Well, you're probably still shit. <laughs> Did you drive, sir? Yeah, I passed a second time. Apparently, all the, the safest drivers are those who've passed the second time. But I drove into oncoming traffic in my first one. <laughs> But I didn't on the second one. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't teach you everything that you really need to learn no. to drive in the in the in the lessons. Do they? they don't teach you like how to balance all your snacks on the passenger seat. <laughs> <laughs> open oh. the crisps when you're at the services because it's difficult to open them when you're driving along. Yeah, but I can open a bottle between my thighs. <laughs> <laughs> she can. <laughs> really impressive if it's one of those gross bottles. <laughs> Shame out of you for that. I think there should be different levels of test as well. I think there should be a test that you can drive without the radio on, and then there should be another test where you could drive, looking at a text, making a phone call, chatting to your friends, and then there should be a high-level test where you're so good, you can have a few drinks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, learning to drive. Let's have a look and see whether it's one of the most important moments in life.